Ruth Campbell, and this is my husband. And hey, Neil. And we're the owners of Fourth Floral here in Rhinelander. Um, this is a fourth generation business that was started in 1900 um, by my great grandparents who came over from Luxembourg. And they were in the floral business in Luxembourg and came and started up here in Rhinelander. And the especially interesting thing about our business at that is that it's always been passed down through the women in our family. So um, my grandma married my grandpa and brought him into the business and then they had all daughters and my mom married my dad, brought him into the business and they had all daughters and I married Henning and yep. and here he is. Yep. Where are you from originally? Are you both natives? Well, I'm from Rhinelander. I grew up here and um, I, I'm from Germany. I grew up in Germany and my parents had a, a greenhouse business there too. And then I went through the education in, in Germany and uh, I came over as an exchange student to the University of Minnesota. And how long have you two been together? 22 years. <laughs> so we've been back in Rhinelander almost that long. Shortly after we were married, we moved back and started working with my parents and then now they're pretty much retired completely and so. So um, you employ how many people now? Oh, it's seasonal between 20 and 25. Most everybody's part-time people, though, so. What are some of the newer trends in gardening? What is What are people growing these days? Well, do you want to take that one? Well, outside, it's it's the, the annuals, and um, there we see a lot. We see a trend to uh, bigger plants that are grown from cuttings instead of seeds. Um, and uh, a lot of the uh, newer varieties have improved vigor, improved resistance to uh, the environment and, uh, you know, adverse weather conditions. So they make a better garden plant than what we used to offer in, in uh, seedlings in previous years. And I was going to say another trend is um, vegetables, too. A lot more people are interested in vegetables. So, you know, more interest in heirloom varieties and things like that. People want things that they can can and, and freeze and take care of. Right. Or make, grow their own food. Can you show us around a little bit? We'll walk sure. with you. Well, Henning was talking about the annuals. This is the section here that has a lot of the annuals. Now, annuals, uh, not being a gardener, that's once a year. Right. They, they're they, good for. They're good for, yeah. Mm -hmm. Selection. They're down a little bit, but you know, if somebody still wants a tomato, we've got some tomatoes that have tomatoes on them already. 